no, nope. hey, so nobody, nobody gets the reference to Monty Python. I don't think so. Hey, sub Sam, how you doing? Hello, friends. Thank you for that tremendous welcome, DZ. You are in no way, shape, or form welcome. Okay, I'll take it. Private Pigeon, That's always a pleasure. Movie. Hey, what's up, hey. Sam? How you doing, man? Do Excellent. not sell the little guy out. He is more than Private Pigeon. I like to think of him as El Capitan Carrier Pigeon. Hey, that works for me. Anything foul works for me. Hey, hey, hey like, well, where's, where's my say in this? <laughs> you don't have a say in it. You're just lucky that you're even sitting next to us. Enjoy it while you can, Pigeon. It's all about you tonight. Derek Zane, first thing, let me ask you. Tonight's action, what is your take on it? Do you want the generic answer or do you want the heart-to-heart? -heart? Give me heart-to-heart, -heart, baby. Don't hold back. <clears throat> As I see it, there's going to be a lot of contest in the ring. Two people will face off. They will fight because they have opposite opinions and opposite stances. They will fight with heart. They will fight with passion. They will fight with every part of their being. And then at the end, only one will be victorious. Unless, of course, it falls to a draw. I love it. I love it. That's the inside we're looking for. Private Pigeon, you give me your take now on tonight's action. Oh, for tonight, and we're going to be seeing some cats, some freaking claws fly. We're going to be seeing some bodies get hurt. We're going to be seeing, basically, these women putting it on the line just for you fans. That's why. What, do you, what That's exactly right. do you mean by putting it on the line? Stripping. What do you think? Again, the, anyway. Again, let us go down the card. Sale. They are not pieces of meat. Let's go down the card. First match, we've got Nicoletta versus Missy. Now, for starters, I like this match because you've got two women here, both of whom are extremely strong. Power is their game. They are brutal. What, in your, what is your idea of what's going to happen when these two collide? It's... By all means, go ahead. Pigeon, you first. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, it's going to be... Of course, of course. As it's gonna be pretty much as Nicolette, she's freaking tall as hell, she's freaking buff, she could freaking hit a brick and break it, I bet. But she's gonna be taking on Miss Misty and, and as all I know is that Misty is pretty much psychotic in the head, so it's it's gonna be pretty even, as both of them do have somewhat similar styles, however, I think it's just gonna fall down to a high end weight advantage, personally. Derek Zane, Pigeon brings up a great point. Both of whom are tall at six feet. They both stand six feet tall, but there is a 50 pound weight advantage on the side of Nicoletta. Derek Zane, talk to me. Strength is a factor that is very difficult to overcome. Now, granted, height is pretty damn even. They're going to be looking at each other right, pupil to pupil. But like you said, 50 pounds of Lean muscle mass is a hell of a mountain to try to overcome for Misty. Now she's going to have to face this 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 Russian Titanic of Nicoletta. And then like he said, she might be crazy, but let me tell you, nothing fixes crazy just quite like five knuckles to the forehead. You know what? You said a mouthful right there. Five knuckles to the forehead can't change it. But here we go. It's time to kick it off. Ladies and gentlemen, let me hear it. It is Asylum. WPWF, the greatest women action on the grid.
And look at that. With that, we are on. TZ, talk to us. Well, again, once again, ladies and gentlemen, you are standing your peepers and creepers right here at Careers for WPWF's Asylum. Give yourselves a rounding applause. Now, we've just discussed what may be one hell of a titanic, tormentous... Ah, I can't leave a word. Who cares? It'll come to me later. But we're going to see one hell of an opening match. Yes, it, even I have flubs. Makes me all the more adorable. Not you, DZ. But match two, Kalisto versus Allison Danes. Now we saw last week, Allison's her hot streak hit a little cold patch. Do we know, can she reignite it against one half of the deadly, dangerous Black Lotus? Yeah, they definitely made an impact last week. It's going to be curious to see how Allison pulls this off. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, okay, good. We were worried that you didn't understand it was your time to talk. Ah, uh, but with that, we just got word, DZ, are you ready to introduce... <laughs> Uh-oh, what is this? Wait, hold on, I'm getting word right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, who is... Speak, speak of the devil and they shall appear. Derek Zane, you just spoke about her hitting a rough snag last week. Bring her out, will ya? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it appears that Miss Danes has a little something-something she wants to say. Oh, So, I'm who are we to, to say no? You know, you know what this music reminds me of? What's that? The Puerto Rican parade in New York City. Have you ever had to deal with that? What, you mean the Puerto Rican parade? Home. parade? Well, Puerto Rico parade, whatever. Let me tell you something. It's no Mardi Gras. I'll say that right here, right now. It ain't the it ain't the festival of Saint Angelique. I will say that. Yeah, whatever. You don't want to shake your ass a little bit. Uh, after last week, do you think she wants to do that? <laughs> well, Derek Zane is shaking his ass in his chair. Yes, he's perfectly comfortable with you knowing that. Well, you, you make sure you don't tell people that my hand is under your seat. <laughs> You keep your hand far away from me. It's not near Don't you. It's him. between two pillows. Here she goes. Don't touch Here him. She is. Hello, everybody from WPWF. Welcome to tonight's show. Unfortunately, I have business to attend to right off the bat. So, Avina, if you could please come out here. I needed to talk to you. Uh-oh. This should be interesting. Undoubtedly. Hmm. You know, part of me likes Savina, but then part of me doesn't. It sounds like you're of two minds. On two places. Oh. I like Avina. I think she's Maybe pretty cool. you have two heads. Look at her. She walks to the ring. Look at the look on her face. She looks like she just wants to fight now. Well, that's understandable. Bit of a rough deal. This girl She's frightens me. the competitor's me. heart. Well, yeah, I'll fair enough. I'll say, she frightens me. That's fair enough, but then again, you and Rainbow Bright over there have had your man cards revoked. That's just rude. Oh, I, I, I still have I'm just saying, it says right here, right here on this print, that your man cards were both evoked by Miss Misty. <sighs> okay, who gave you that material? The company. Now let's hush down and listen. Avina, thank you so much for being here. You know, um, after all that's been happening, I really, really wanted to apologize. Because I know I haven't been much of a help against people attacking us, and I don't want you to feel like I am just le letting you be the punching bag. 
I try. I swear to God I'm trying, but I just haven't been lucky enough to be able to do much to defend you. And I know this is supposed to be a team kind of thing where you protect me and I protect you, but to be honest, none of us have been able to protect each other. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is, could you, w would you forgive me? Because I know this is getting to you as much as it's getting to me, but I don't, I don't want to lose you. So what do you say? Aww. You want to handle this or do you want me to? Oh, you had it quite well last week. Okay, you know what, Allison? Two weeks. I've been hitting the head two weeks in a row for no reason. What did I ever do to her? Where have you been? Every time I get up, you're already on your feet every single time. Two weeks in a row. When I signed up for this, I thought it was mutual. It is. I, I swear to God. It's. It is. You are very important to me. You are my friend. Shut up! I'm talking! I've tried and tried to protect you, and you have done nothing. Nothing. All you do is you come out dancing and kissing up to these fans, and you know what? They don't care. They're useless. Boy, I like Avina now. Ah, come I on. really like her. That's, that's a cheap shot. I'm done with this. Yes! <laughs> I like her. Well, of course you would. Oh! Look at this! Take her! Uh -oh. Ah, come on, Avina. This this is beneath you. Ugh! Hit her with the mic! Look, I can understand her being frustrated. <laughs> this, this seems to be a bit much. Ooh, come on, Allison, let's see a dance right now. <laughs> She's doing the horizontal limbo. Look at her. Ah, oh, I like this. No mercy. Look at this. Yes! <laughs> Look, there oh, is damn. carrying a grievance, there is exiting, there's expressing yourself that you're angry, and then there's just underhandedness. Now look, I get that she's angry, I get that Avina feels like she's been being betrayed, but this doesn't settle any issues, this doesn't solve anything. Oh, come on, DZ, there can only be one alpha dog, and right now Avina's showing exactly who that alpha dog is. It's not a sanctioned match. Allison was not prepared to wrestle. She doesn't have her gear on. She came out here to make a heart-to-heart -heart plea for understanding. And instead, she gets sucker attacked and now put into a lock, into a submission. This is not the way that a, a true professional should conduct themselves. Oh, my, this isn't a sanctioned match. DZ, this is the WPWF. You come hard or you don't come at all. Allison is once again learning a lesson. You mess with the dog, you get Bit, and that's exactly what Avina's done. And Avina, raise your hands up. Take a bow. That was beautiful. Loved it. Oh, wait a second. Hit her again. again. Just and there's enough. Of, no, look. You made your point. Good. <laughs> She's leaving. She's made a point. Can we get some help out here for Allison? <laughs> get a truck for this this girl. Oh, Allison. Get up. Your you're Lucy, you're Lucy wants to see you get up. Come on, Allison. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. Were you just born without a heart? I'll tell you something. Let me explain something right here, right now. 
you, you step in that ring, you better be prepared to fight. I don't care if it's against the ref. I don't care if it's against your best friend. Once you're in that ring, you better be ready. If not, you're going to end up just like Allison. Look at her, barely making it backstage. I love it. Applaud, Avina. She just scored in my book. I'm all for making an impact. I'm all for establishing yourself as a force to be reckoned with. But there's a difference between doing it the right way and doing it like a coward. And all I saw was a cowardly attack. Now, we may uh, disagree, and that's perfectly fine. But that's how I see it right now. Private Pigeon, you you back me up here. Um... Um, I, I'm going to have to say, no, I can't back you up with this one, man. I mean, yes, I understand how, I understand how, how Vina feels, but that's not the way how you know that you need to treat it. That was just wrong. That's Damn. the way, like at Lion Cub, you stand up for yourself. The meat and a sissy sandwich. Here I am. Anyways, why don't you bring out the net first competitor in match one, pal? Well, then, if everybody thinks they're ready... That would be a cue. There we go. A little more noise. This is, of course, your opening bout. Oh, the crowd's loving this. The crowd's loving this. I can feel it. The energy is killing me. My God, I'm loving it. I'm energized. Let's do this. On her way to the ring, she stands six foot eight foot even. Weighing tonight, 150 lean pounds. She hails from any damn place she wants to in South Carolina. She is the one, the only, Miss Misty. Oh, did you feel that, DZ? Did you feel that pigeon? It just got really cold right now. Derek Zane never feels oh, cold. Yeah, I got cold hot. for me. Hot, I tell I, you. The freaking woman attacked me one day. Well, Here. you know what? That, that's what happens when you ask her out, man. Some people got the mojo like your boy Sammy here. Some people are the private pigeons of the world. You got to be careful. When you ask certain girls out that are out of your league, they're going to smack you for your troubles. Hello, Misty. You're looking great tonight. Wait, she did not even ask me out. Uh oh. Wait a uh -oh. minute, Frank. Better do it, pal. She's uh she's eyeballing you two pretty pretty hard. Do you two owe her money? Uh, no. no, not that. Case of the clap will do that, I no. guess, you know. Yeah, you know, people aren't as forgiving anymore about gonorrhea. I told you. Oh god yet. If it's dripping, don't go sticking. Hey, hey, damn it, damn it. Well, once again, it, here's Misty likes the sexy look on Sam Luciano. She likes the wet hair look. What can I do? She likes the rough stuff. You can be a little more selective. But That's all right. Ring she goes after what had to be one hell of a just uncomfortable moment between you three. Let me tell you something. This girl, she's hot, and she sees Sammy, and she knows the hot stuff right here. So, with that, her opponent is about to make her way out. Ooh, I see the lights. It is time. DZ, Indeed talk to is. me. Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen. Her opponent, all the way from Moscow, Russia. She stands again, six foot even, 200 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal. She is Nikoleta Lukov. Boy, that is one monster woman coming down here. But Russian damn it, she's sexy. Are very difficult to get out. Makes the mouth dry. Pretty much like you getting a call from your doctor. Wait, what? What? Nothing. That Don't hurt. worry about it. <laughs> it should. It shouldn't what? hurt when you're taking a pee-pee. See, I don't know what to think about this woman. She's really huge, but damn, is she good looking. You got eyes for her, don't you, Zane? 
Oh, 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 look at that. That was for you, Pigeon. Derek Zane is a happily married man. Don't I'm you forget. Right now. She's a modern-day Amazon, if you just look at her. Damn. God, can you imagine coming home drunk and telling her that you want some loving? <laughs> Damn. Well, let's not forget she is Russian. There is kind of a precedence. She's got my heart Russian. That was cheesy even for you. Can't help it. She digs that me. That was. Uh, is it, is it just me that uh, Missy got a little bigger? Let me explain something. I think Missy is bitten off a little more than she can chew. I think the minute she signed that contract, she let her, her fingers sign a check her ass can't cash. Missy, I think, is in trouble. Look, look, at, look at Nicoletta. Look at that woman. That is a monster of a woman. She, Nicoletta would probably overpower most men. Wouldn't you agree? It is a distinct possibility. Boy, look at them square off. Oof. And that's pretty damn scary. It's only scary if you're a little milk toast man. Me, not so bad. But right now we got ourselves a solid collar elbow tie up. Test of strength. You know, as strong a woman as Misty is, I don't think she's going to win this one. I don't think either. Not, not against Nicoletta. I don't think a lot of men would win this one against Nicoletta. I think you'd have you'd struggle, DZ. That all depends. I've got about seven feet, you know, sorry, seven inches on her. Probably about 97 pounds. Granted, she's a big, big woman. But I'm a little bit bigger, and I ain't no woman. Boy, I'll tell you what. Missy doing everything she can to try to knock this tree down. Oh. Undoubtedly. But those big form smashes just driving her back and then into that ropes. Coming back hard. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> Damn. Snapping that power slam with authority. You could just see the ring shake. I, I don't care how prepared here. you are for a match. That takes all the wind out of you. That takes that that changes the game right there. Misty right now just looks completely out of it. Going for an early pin. One ring a dingy. Two ring a dingy. Will it be enough? No. Gets that shoulder up in time. Oof. Yeah, but that back, that's still hurting. Look at her. Oh yeah. Undoubtedly. No. Oh. And it can't help that those boots have just been driven right into her breadbasket. And let's be honest, those aren't standard issue wrestling boots. These things are thicker, they're heavier, and they hurt more. Oh, oh. there now, there's a way to get out of it. Nah, you know, look, you got to fight to survive and survive to fight. But I got to question tactics like thumbs in the eyes. It just seems like a cheap shot, quick and easy way to the to glory. Well, that's it doesn't probably seem like don't... it really mattered because here comes Nicoletta. Oh! oh. Misty using her brains. Drop to well, you know what? sending Nicoletta throat first right into those ropes. Say what you want about raking the eyes, but I'll tell you this right now. that, that Misty was at a desperate point in this match. She had to do something, and what she did was completely turn the tides. Now she's got to stay on her. Undoubtedly. Still, though, you want, you'd like to see a victory be done clean. This, however... Probably is not going to happen as these are two titans, titans of ladies wrestling. This is this is insane. Oh yeah, it's, I don't know. What Missy's doing. She might as well keep her down. I oh. agree with the pigeon. Oh, there you go. Ooh, just slamming that head up against <laughs> the, uh, the ring apron. Damn, I don't know if I like that. I like uh, I like Nicoletta's face. Stay away from the face. Well, here's the thing a lot of people don't necessarily understand. A wrestling ring is not like what a lot of people assume. It's not a trampoline. It's not even like a boxing ring. There's some flex the further into the center you go. But when you get out onto the aprons, that's essentially planks of wood right up against iron girdings. It does not give. And when you slam your opponent's head against the ring apron like that, it's just like you've taken them and just ran them right up against the turnbuckles or or the ring steps, or even these barricades. Oh, uh, Tana drops down for the count. It's one. It's two. Ah, oh, she kicked out. 
My Still goodness. too early in the she, match for either of them to get out a cheap, quick victory like that. Yeah, she didn't even, I don't even think she got a two count. I think Nicoletta was yeah. too quick. Nicoletta's not. You're going to have to beat Nicoletta a lot more to get this girl down. Yeah, yeah, as Nic Go as on. Nicoletta is one, <laughs> as Nicoletta is one woman that get has out. a lot of endurance on her. Well, you know, you the big better? question is whether or not you got a big girl like Nicoletta, does she have the cardio, which is so important oh, in a wrestling oh, oh. match? <laughs> oh, oh, did you see that? Cardio Lights don't out. matter when you can damn near take a person's head off. Oof, that's a game changer right there. Missy has at this moment got to be just asking, you know, how many Nicolettas does she have to fight? Two, three, four, however many are in front of her right now. Well, she just learned a very valuable Obviously. lesson. When you've got a woman like Nicoletta down on the ground, you need to keep her down on the ground. You need to beat her and beat her until she can't get up. Pigeon, your thoughts? No. I'd be scared to fight another Nicoletta, to be honest. And, oh, Jesus. All of that 200 Russian poundage just slamming right into her in the corner. You know, Nicoletta may not be the most clean of uh, competitors. Definitely not the nicest, but she knows how to be vicious. And sometimes that viciousness translates to victories. Oh, she goes down for a count again. Only a one, one count. Wow. Oh, oh, my God. Misty is... Could possibly just right now be getting a head of steam. Of course, she's also got a head full of marbles. She's not known for being the most sane of individuals in the ring, and sometimes crazy will give you a boost of adrenaline. Derek Zane, as a professional, I got to ask you this: in boxing, when you get knocked down, the smart thought is take the standing eight count, take it, take the rest, and then get back to business. In wrestling, if you're pinned, even though you can kick out at one, do you take that extra that extra count, or do you just kick out as soon as you can? I myself typically try to take the two count. You give yourself another second of breath. It doesn't seem like a lot, but a second of breath oh. might just be that second you need to recover to get something over on your opponent. You take the moment, you think about what's happening, you kick out, you form your plan. And right now... Maybe it doesn't seem to matter. Again, like I said, Misty's got the head full of marbles and the bag full of crazy. Crazy seems to be working for her. But this is smart. Going again for another pin. Even though Nicoletta just kicked out, it's forcing Nicoletta to have to use that energy to get her shoulder up. Well, she at least Even got her to a victory. two count this time. Exactly. It's forcing Nicoletta to have to be defensive, to have to fight against her being on the mat. Smart play by Misty. And I think she just hit the cycle switch. But she just she let she let Nicoletta get up. That was that was a mistake. Stay on her. She's hurt though. Look at Nicoletta. She she wasn't expecting that. And uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my goodness, she was just playing possum. <laughs> and, uh, this is not going to end well for Misty. That's oh my god, look at that. Remember, that's 150 pounds right there. Holy moly. I think that you might be the end. One, two, and a three. You can Stick count to 30. Misty is done. <laughs> oh my well, goodness. That was 150 is. pounds as she tossed up like a sack of potatoes. My goodness, that was crazy. Flex it, baby. Show those guns. Indeed. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, your winner by way of pinfall, Nicoletta Lukov. I'll give it to her. That was impressive. I love the way she finished it. Pigeon, what's your thoughts on that finisher? That was a pretty damn awesome finisher. That was my first time I've ever seeing that. And... Pick up someone like Missy who weighs 150 and pretty much bring her down easily like that. That ain't no easy feat. Listen wow. here, Czar, Zebra. How many times did Derek Zane tell you to stop cussing? You're amongst ladies. Use some class. I did curse, did I? You said the D word. 
Uh, damn. Derek Zane? What hmm. the hell is this? What are they doing right now? What the uh, hell is this? I, looks I like guess Nicoletta it's a sign of respect. Oh. Look, a woman like Nicoletta, as big as she is, as mean as she is, as rough and tough and ready to rumble as she is, she doesn't have to resort to poor sportsmanship. She can beat you, beat you clean, pick you up, pat you on the back, and just let you know, I can do this to you any damn time I choose. Or she was just rubbing it in. That's, That's all she was doing was rubbing it in. We didn't hear what they had to say. So it's all in the oh. eye of the beholder. But well, never mind. now it's time to pay some bills. Mr. Pigeon, would you care to take over this? Oh, of course I will. As I get the Zab board open, if it would, open for me. And there we go. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, like to share your opinions or do you have suggestions about the match or just the whole show? Here at WPWF, we listen to the fans and their opinions to bring the best in our talents and show. To file a suggestion option, click the box next to the donation meter right behind us. And hey you! Always wanted that super awesome original entrance video? Of course you have. Who the hell wouldn't want something original and interesting and fancy free? Well, want no more? Check out Heartbreakers Productions at youtube.com backslash HB Sierra. Say it six times and you get a prize. <clears throat> prize notwithstanding, and it's not legal. Featuring motion graphics, HD quality, and many options for customization, Heartbreakers Productions can help create the impression that you want for your character. Dot, dot, dot. All at reasonable prices. See that sign? That one right there. Click it. Click the sign. Or note card Sierra Charisma for more information. Go. Oh, with that up, uh, I guess I'll take it then. Yeah, All right, no. so today, so Future Base Wrestling Gear is a new vendor located at your nearest goods area for animations and boots. Future Base offers high quality tights, high quality mesh elbow pads and knee pads, and most importantly, high quality mesh and fitted mesh trunks varying in many different sizes and designs. It's right out there at the vendor, right at the WPWF by the entrance. Do you want to get updates? I asked you all a question. Do you want to get updates? Oh, please, give me some updates. Oh, yes. Well, not only are you going to get updates about future shows or get updates about the shows you've missed, join the official WPWF fan group. Ah, this time I did not say copy-paste. Oh, wait, yes, I did. Damn it! I hit Again, you I am, I am befuddled in... Flamuxed by copying and pasting. There, that thing. Click on it. Or you can bother Tyrese for the invitation. But don't bother her right now. She's trying to run a show. You selfish, selfish monkeys. They are monkeys. They have monkeys in the back. They're at least higher primates. True. And with that... It's time for the next match. Now, really quick, I just want to say something. We saw last week the debut of the Black Lotus. And let me explain something to you. These, I'm not even sure if these are even wrestlers. These chicks were crazy. And over the past week, if you look over, you'll see Re Kurahara's poster was actually vandalized. And it turns out it was by the Black Lotus. So... I'm kind of curious to see what Re would have to say when she see when she gets her hands on the lo the Black Lotus. But with that, I think I just heard our challengers ready to come down. Derek Zane, talk to me. Not only am I going to talk to you, I am going to talk to each and every one of these lovely, lovely faces all around the ring, except for that one. You know who you are. Do something about it. Ladies and gentlemen, on her way to the ring, just as soon as that music starts up, there's the lights, there's the action, there's the camera, representing the Black Lotus. Standing in 
at five foot eight, weighing in one hundred twenty five pounds. She might be known as Ritsuko Nakamura, but you and me, us Gaijin, we can call her Callisto. Oh, look at her. She's got the kendo stick with her. What does she plan to do with that, DZ? Uh-oh, hey. Well, oh. undoubtedly, it's oh, going to be something pleasant like scratching hey. your back. She's probably going to smack somebody upside the damn head with it. Uh, Callisto, it was Pigeon. He's the one that did it. No, 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 no. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Um, so you, you want that guy. They get that guy. That's you know what guy. you did. You know what you did. Boy, dodged a bullet there, huh? What about all that uh, vaunted Luciano animal magnetism that you exude towards women, which hey. I call creepy hands? You, you want to come out here and pour water on me? That's okay. I'll make it look good. But if you want to come out here and hit me with a kendo stick? You don't want to mess up this pretty face there, Zane. It's all I dream about, about sometimes. Well, we already saw her here earlier tonight. Let's see if she's been able to recover some. The opponent, hailing from Lisboa, Lisbon, in the fine nation of Portugal. She stands six foot one, weighing 140 pounds. She is Alison Danes. Yet another six footer. My God, I'm starting to think WWF could start a basketball team if they want to. It's entirely possible. WNBA. Look at her. She's hurting. Look at her. She's struggling to get in the ring. <laughs> Avina did a number on her. Oh, man. This is not good for Allison whatsoever. One moment. Oh. One moment. Last airbender. Derek Zane is going to invite you to sit very quietly and think about your statement. Then he's going to come back to you and he's going to ask you to explain in six parts what the hell it is you're talking about. Now, to the action in the ring. Well, I'll tell you this right now. Allison is not ready for this match. This match should not happen. She Look at her ribs. Her ribs are bandaged. She's hold, favoring her head. She is in serious trouble, and the match hasn't even begun yet. I don't know what to say about this. DZ, your thoughts? What can be said, but we saw an uh, unprovoked, unsolicited attack on Allison Danes at the very start of this show. She's barely had enough time to recover, much less really even process what happened. And now she's in the ring with an absolute assassin, with a woman who's only got one goal in mind, and that is to absolutely take the established order and grind it to pulp and then remake it in her image. Well, I call that an attitude adjustment, what happened to her earlier. She needed it. We're going to agree to disagree on that one. But what we cannot deny is that these two ladies, or at least one of them, is damn ready to lock up. Oh, uh -oh. Callisto, she looks more than ready. Pigeon, what happens? What do you think when if you have to face a crazy woman like Callisto? What do you? What's your plan of action? My plan of action was one, not even be near Callisto. I wouldn't even be in that ring at, if I was that injured already. I won't even. I won't even do it. I would be like, I need someone else to, you know, do my match. I can't do it. That's what I would say. Oh. Irish whip. Allison going for a ride. No! Looks like a dodge. Callisto showing that incredible agility. Just speed in the ring. Oh! All I can say is Callisto came to this match prepared, and she doesn't even need to be. She can actually take a step back. She doesn't have to fire on all cylinders at this point because she is the fresher wrestler right now. Allison is still feeling the effects of that attack just, what, 15 minutes ago? This match shouldn't even be happening. But you know what, Callisto? Go ahead and finish the job. 
All right, now she's definitely working on that neck. Oh, Allison attempting for a quick pin. Can she hold her down long enough? No, just a one count. Smart play on Allison's part. Try to get this match over oh. and done with quick, but I can't help but feel that this is just going to come back and bite her in the ample backside. Well, Callisto has her down, and she's saying something to her. I don't know what she could be possibly saying to Allison, but I don't even know if Allison can even hear right now. Her head is probably still buzzing from the attack earlier. Right at this point, well, DZ, what's going through your head if you're, if you're Allison at this point? At the moment, any time I've been put in this particular hold, my thoughts are threefold. One, am I getting air? Two, where is my opponent? Where is the ref? More importantly, where are the ring ropes? And three, how do I get out of this and turn it to my advantage? Well, I'll tell you something. Callisto just, she just uh, moved up stock oh. in my book. As she had her down, she was peppering her face with punches. Let's see what happens here. Well, a kick to the gut. Started oh! Oh! Allison throwing out a hip toss completely from left field. I don't think Callisto was expecting that. This is insane. So And good on for Allison. You know what? She's showing that she's got the heart and the will to compete, even though she took a beating to begin. Oh, big drop kick. Right to well, the mush. Well, I'll give it to her. Allison's got a lot of heart. Not a lot of brains, but she's got a lot of heart. How do you know that? She might be incredibly erudite. How would you know? Well, because she's in there, she's in there facing Callisto. If you just got the crap kicked out of you, you're going to step in the ring right now? Oh, no, only an idiot. Yes, you do. If you're a professional, if you care, if you have the heart and drive to be the very damn best you can be, of course you're going to get in that ring. Oh, boy. And here comes a big, oh, no. Went for the rolling clothesline, and Callisto decided to shut the door on her. Just Allison's doesn't definitely happen. looking like she's in danger right now. She's not even allowed to take her jacket off at this point. Callisto is just putting on a performance. She's kicking the crap out of her. Oh, that's not going to feel good. Oh, <laughs> just stomping away on Allison's face in the corner. Yes, it's a great. Oh, absolutely beautiful pin pinning bridge. Can she keep her down? Oh, looks like Allison just kicked out. All guts, no brains on Allison. Again, how do you justify that statement? She could be one of the most smartest people you've ever met. Have you actually sat down and talked to the woman? Look, I'm not going to say, I don't care what her, what her freaking Wonderlick test says. I don't care anything about that. I don't care if she can split the atom. All I care about is the fact that she should know that you live to fight another day. You just took a beating from Avena. You were betrayed. Mentally, you're, you're not into this right now. Your game is just not there. And she's getting in the ring with somebody that's scary, that someone does, someone you don't really know too much about, and you're learning the hard way. So, yeah, I don't give her a lot of credit. She needed to just get, just take the, take the pinfall and be done with it. Fight another day. Don't you even believe in heroes? Don't you believe in heroic actions? What we are seeing is the birth of a heroine. A woman who is willing to face danger, face destruction, face even potential death, and get out there and fight for her fans. And even though right now she is locked into a damn effective side head scissors, she is not willing to surrender. She's a facing the back of Callisto's oh, thighs is the only thing I see her facing. Choker! Hey, come on. There's no call for that. Oh, uh, come on. Hey, is she fighting her? Yes, is she? she is. Oh, uh, well, I can respect that. No. Damn it, don't encourage that kind of behavior. Allison, don't bite her. Fight through this. Dig down deep. Reach into that part of you that knows you can be a champion. What you're seeing right now is desperation in its purest form. She has to do something. She needs to change the momentum somehow. This is going to be pretty much bad for Allison. I mean, she already has like her ribs pretty much done and her head is hurting. This is, this is not good for her. 
No, this isn't good for her. Allison, I, I got to ask, how much more can a woman like this take? You know, I understand. You want to make a name for yourself. You want to be that top dog. You want a shot at the big, at the big shiny. But at what cost? You got to pace yourself. You're not going to be a champion overnight, DZ. Undoubtedly. Well, especially not if Callisto keeps locking back into that scissor lock. Just cutting there. Now this is smart, smart wrestling on the part of Callisto. She is very smart. Taking Allison out. She's put her Aye, on her back. Yes, she's, oh! Well, that's a that's a creative way to get out of that hold. As I was saying, she was trying to just deny Allison the ability to recover by cutting off her air supply, but Allison had the wherewithal, the thought process, to drive that pointy bit of her knee right into Callisto's forehead. And you know what? That does break up a hold as about as effective as anything else that can be done. Hey, Pigeon, I think Allison is uh, checking you out. <laughs> I think Allison... It I think Allison is trying to, you know, get her, uh, get her emotions back together as well as get her strength. She needs to get at least some type of moment momentum right now. I think she wants to get her bird on. What? I'm just saying. What? <clears throat> Allison is throwing her in the ropes. Whatever. Kalisto has grabbed on. Here comes Allison with the close oh, line. Oh. oh, right over the top rope. But now, does Allison have the have the had the fortitude to get back in there, get outside, stomp this girl, take her out of submission, or is she still too hurt? Well, it appears that knocking your opponent over the top rope is legal in the WPWF. Other feds, that might have got her disqualified. But here it looks like it's all good. Callisto's up on her feet, looks a little dizzy. Here comes Allison. Oh! 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 Right over the That was the impressive. Top. That was I gotta awesome. give it up to her. That was impressive. Yeah. You know, you take a beating right, you like that. You gotta give it up to her. What did I you say about heroics? What did I say about digging deep, fighting against the fear? Allison is showing that she can tap into that deeper part of herself and fight past it. Yeah, it looks like Kalisto's on the barrier. What is Allison thinking? Well, right now what Allison needs to be thinking is getting Callisto back into the ring, and put on her back, and pin for a three. Going to the well one too many times can be dangerous, especially outside the ropes. Oh! Like that. Oh, there you go. Oh, my God. Did you hear that? Again. I Indeed heard Indeed, I did. I saw it. Kick her. Kick her again. Put Allison out of my misery. Nah, come on, that is a that is a lady, sir. That is somebody's daughter. That Call is somebody's. Oh, oh, look at that! <laughs> that was somebody's, somebody's daughter. Crying. Just got her head smashed right into the ring, the ring steps. I love it. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm starting to like this black lotus. Oh, now, <laughs> this is a this is a beating. I'm loving this. This is great. Hit her again. Do it again. Absolutely uncalled for. Look, it's one thing to be ruthless. It's one thing to be efficient. But this is just barbarism. This is not about winning a match. This is about attempting to cripple somebody. Oh! oh as she broke up. you got to like that she broke up the count. That was beautiful. Masterful by Callisto. I'm impressed with this wrestler. Of course you are. You're easily impressed. I wouldn't say easily impressed. I just I like girls that really take it seriously. Oh, 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 wow! Well, that's not going to do much damage, but still, it was impressive to watch. <laughs> oh, you can hit her you know, in the I face all you say, want. That's not going to hurt her. <laughs> this is a test. This is an absolute test for Allison. Can she fight through this pain that she has undoubtedly got to be feeling right now? You know, I think I agree with you, because right now, Callisto is turning Allison into a crash test dummy. <laughs> I'm loving this. Oh, boring. it's over. Pull her up, pull her up, pull her up. Kick out. Oh, good. There we go. Good. I like it. Now we get to watch Callisto oh. beat on her some more. They got a word for Not people yet. like you. King. Gorgeous. Yeah, I agree. Sadist. 
Sexy. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, Derek Zane. Now, uh, say this doesn't mean what you think it means. Come on, Callisto. Stop her. Stop her some more. Break those ribs. Well, it seems like she's listening. Pulling Allison up. Not ready to just end this match. And, uh oh. Wait, who is that? Out? At, at Allison. What? What's oh boy! Whoa! Oh. Hey, hey, punches! Oh. You can't punch, Tanith. Punches are illegal. You can't hit with the fist. Well, it was what? It was perfectly fine <laughs> for Callisto to do it to Allison just a few minutes ago. Well, I was outside the ring. Oh, really? Oh, okay, okay. You uh, you might want to wipe your nose. It's looking a little brown. <laughs> oh, come on! Come on, Callisto, get back in this. Vicious, vicious kick right to the right to the jawline. Look, Allison, stop, no, wait, stop wait. posing. Get in there. Stay on her. Oh, there's Hila getting in there. there. Oh my God, that's just disgusting. What of anything that any of these women would be doing? I thought that would be the one thing that would appeal to you. Hell no. I mean, when I'm watching the action in the ring, I want to see these girls beating the crap out of each other. They could save that crap for the party after the show. You, sir, are a man of many inconsistencies. Oh, oh my God. God! Oh, there he goes. Driving that head down. Good Lord. Massive DDT. Will that be enough? Does, Come on. Does Allison even have enough in her to get up and go for a pin? No, but I bet you she has enough energy to dance like a fool. What's wrong with somebody wanting to dance and show their appreciation for life? Hey, that's fine. But you know what? Wait until we're at scores to do that. Don't do it in the ring. Well, Allison's into the ropes. Coming back. What's she got in mind? Oh, wait. Uh-oh. 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 Come on, Callisto, Why you need to get to the ropes. No. Dead center of the ring. Wait, 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 Can who's Callisto that? Break out. Wait, what? Who's what? Who's what? Where? 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 Oh, somebody's I, just I, come out. Yeah. Who is that? I don't, I don't wait, know who you guys saw. I see the rough. Wait, that's it. Wait, Oh no. that's Ayane. Whoever she wait, is, she's it. old. There, there's action going on in the ring. We need to pay attention to what's in the ring, people. Callisto maybe what's have to submit What's in the ring right now soon. is a submission, but outside the ring right now, there is a young woman wearing clothes very similar to the Black Lotus and carrying a Singapore stick. I, I think that's Ayani. Well, oh, that, that's Ayani. She's here to support her friend. You know, her well, friend needs stick? support right now. That's, a, the, that's, that's The kendo stick is a symbol of classic breeding and that's what these the, the black lotus is they are classically bred these are true japanese royalty and they're all they're doing that's like a scepter to them uh oh what's this oh uh oh wait <sighs> how do you get uh -oh. this candlestick you have got <laughs> to be kidding me oh good lord well you know what if you can't beat them hit them with a kendo stick i'm loving it hit her again do it you again. have got to be absolutely kidding me. Was the ref just going to let this... Okay, good. Good. What I would the... expect that this match would be thrown out. No. No. Uh... Come on, choke her with look, it. Look, this... The match is over. You've got oh, in your little uh, victory in there. You've attacked her. Oh! <sighs> <laughs> oh, it's been a rough Saturday night for Allison. <laughs> oh, good lord! I I find this funny. You know, she should she could have taken my advice. She stayed backstage. You know, nursed the wounds, milked it for all she could. But instead, she came out here, and this is what happens. You know, she got what she deserved, if you ask me. What she did was come out here and fight like a professional, like a potential champion. Somebody who came out here risking life and limb for her fans, for the entertainment of everyone in this building, and all you can do is laugh that she just got beat with a stick, like a dog in the street. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I, I, I totally agree with that. You, sir. You, sir, are a classic.
Thank you. I, you know what? I try to tell yeah, people. It's not. Nah, it's not. It's not <laughs> a compliment. Why? What? You said I'm classic. Make up your mind, Zane. Am I a classic yes. or not? Okay, You're wait. You said I'm a classic. classic. I'll take turd. it. You know. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the match by way of disqualification, Allison Danes. Oh, boo-hoo. Whatever. Not boo-hoo. Boo-hoo. She should oh, be dear. lauded for coming out here and giving her damn all, even though she wasn't 100%. Look at her in the ring milking this for all she can. Just get up. You're not hurt that bad. Got hit with a kendo stick. Who help cares? As I said, there was still one hell of a match. Allison Danes pretty Goodness. much did exactly what she wanted to do. And, and yes, Kalista was having the advantage, but Allison Danes almost had it. She really did. However, almost, almost. <laughs> they were in the center of the ring. She had the flying dragon locked in. There was nowhere that Kalista could go except to tap out until her cohort in the dastardliness came out, tossed her a ring, tossed her that, that Singapore cane right in front of the ref, and smacky smack smack, there you saw it. You know, I'm just going to say... A cheater is a cheater, and cheaters The two of win. you, the two of you, it's actually making me sick how you kiss up to these girls. It's absolutely gross. What? Allison was not the better wrestler, and she paid for it. It's actually killing me how you guys kiss up to them. Yeah, really. <laughs> I think it's the other way around, man. I think you kiss up to people that actually, to wrestlers that actually do try to, you know, try to cheat to win. Whatever, Pigeon. You need something to do. Pigeon, why not take care of some bills for us? How about that? All right, then. I'll take care of the bills. It's, it's no problem with me. So, ladies and gentlemen, just I'd like to... Really, like to share your opinions or do you have suggestions about the match or just the whole show? Here at WPWF, we listen to the fans, unlike this guy here, and their opinions to bring the best in our talents and show. To follow your suggestion option, click the box next to the donation mirror right behind us. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Slackjaw, standing there, staring at all these gorgeous women with drool hanging out of your mouth like a big long string. You, uh, I got a question for you. Yes, all right, for you, Voodoo Cooperstone. Hey, you, nose pick. That was Always gross. wanted that super awesome original entrance video. Yes. Don't want no more. Check out Heartbreakers Productions at youtube.com backslash HB Sierra. Featuring motion graphics, HD quality, and many optimizations for customizations. That's right, I changed up the word because I can do that. I am a professional. Heartbreaker Productions can help create the impression that you want for your character and all at reasonable prices. See, who doesn't want ultimate creativity at a price you can afford? Now, see that sign? The sign that reads Heartbreakers? Click it. Yes. I dare you. I double dog dare you. Hell, Derek Zane triple dog dares you to click it. Or no card Sierra Charisma. For more information, go. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, Future Base Wrestling Gear is a new vendor located at your nearest goods area for animations and boots. Future Base offers high quality tights, high quality mesh elbow pads and knee pads, and most importantly, high quality mesh and fitted mesh trunks, varying in many different sizes and designs. This is right outside at the vendor, right near at the WPWF, by the entrance. Do you? Want to get updates about future shows or get updates about the shows you've missed? Yes. Well, then join the official WPWF fan group. How do I do it? <clears throat> well, you copy and paste that right there, which just appeared. It even says right next to Corporal Curmudgeon. The WPWF fan base. Click it. Click it now. Click it often. Click it many times. Click it till it bleeds. Or Say hit up Tyrese again. for an invitation. Click. Click it. Click. Now. Wait. 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 Hmm? Is What's someone up? daring Derek Zane to a Schwarzenegger off? Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Get the job. Oh, 
No, you stop laughing. It's not funny. Uh, no. Uh-oh. No. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Well, with that, well, you know, you know what's, you know what's really awesome right now? We just saw one half of the Black Lotus, and she was more than impressive. I really liked everything she brought to the table, but as, as if that wasn't enough, now we get to see the other half of the Black Lotus. Derek Zane, take me there. Undoubtedly we do. Hailing from Minato, Tokyo, Japan. Oh. As he said, she is the other half of the Black Lotus. You know her as Ayani Taz, um, Tazatsu. She is also known as Chi Shihana. Five foot five, one fifteen. If she don't knock you down with her looks, she'll knock you down with that foot. This is a catchy tune. Yeah. You know, these Japanese, they're really in tune to pop culture, man. They really know music. Ah, look at them. Konnichiwa, Black Lotus-san. See, Sam Luciano is very cultured. That's Japanese. Face palm. You realize you are the reason why they don't like us, right? Baby, I'm the reason they love us. Let me explain something to you, pal. I was just kicking back in Japan two weeks ago, and the ladies there, they were looking at me and saying, Sammy Luchi-san, you are a great tiger in the bed. See, I make, I make all those little Asian flowers heavy and pant. You dig? Wait, did you just say Sammy Luchi-san? That's right. Uh, yeah, in, in That's what they call did. me in Japan. Oh, great, whatever. You keep that and yourself very, very far from Derek Zane. Oh. Her opponent, hailing hide. from Indianapolis, Indiana. Standing if you got your burgers, height. hide them now. Hiding, standing at a height of five <laughs> foot six. <laughs> weighing 140 pounds. Here comes Michelle Snyder. <laughs> oh lordy! Hey, look at her. She walks down. You just down. really had to say that, did you? Testing. She's testing the durability of the ramp as she heads down to the ring. <laughs> no, uh, friggin' Z- Sam. You do know Michelle will probably eat you for breakfast, right? I just should eat anything I nailed down. So hell yeah. Hello, Chubsy. How you doing tonight? You're looking great. What is it with you? What are you talking about? Do you know? Just so, just so you know, you? in in the Asian culture, big people, chubby people, are considered to be gods. Uh oh, what the hell is it? Another one that loves my sexy wet look. <laughs> look at her. She's trying to get into the ring. Oh lord, did the ring just? Is did the ring give? <laughs> Oh God! Are you are you powered by just dickishness? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Is, it, is it like a giant battery that they fit into your back that just reads douche cell? Oh, hey. hey! Oh! Fueled by dickishness, that that would be I. And bear in mind. That is coined by Derek Zane Enterprises. You owe me three linden. All right, well, this match is about to get ready as Tamp is making sure they're both ready. Well, look at him. You can tell these two don't like it. They don't, they don't like one another. There's not a lot of respect. Maybe Michelle saw what just happened. Uh, right in the match before this because right now she doesn't feel she wants to go down that same way and I'll tell you right now if I'm Ayani I would not be taking this woman too lightly just got paid three linden who's making the oh. money now well wow. this guy. she just did you see that Michelle just called her a damn toothpick and let me explain something to you do you know what Michelle does to toothpicks after she's done picking her teeth she eats them Ayani's in trouble again with the the fat jokes 
Why and she's not that fat too? Even if she was a little more full figured, who cares? It just means more woman. I didn't say she was fat. You said she eats toothpicks. Like she's gonna eat up Ayani right now. <laughs> but you gotta admit, uh, Michelle does have power over Ayani. Well, there is indeed a considerable size difference between the two of them. It's really going to come down to, honestly, Kalisto being outside that ring. What are you talking about, we've Terrence? Already, oh, we've already seen that they are not above cheating directly in front of the referee. They do what they have to do to get the job done. I kind of respect it, to be honest with you. That speaks volumes as to the kind of person you are, sir. But never mind. Back in the ring, oh, you've got wrist oh, locks and headlocks oh Lord. and short arm clotheslines galore. Wow. Did you, did you see Ayani go down like a sack of hammers right there? This is crazy. Indeed. Well, again, that size and weight difference really helps when you pull your opponent right into that clothesline. Just it's like almost ripping their head off. Oh. And, oh, there goes Ayani. Yep. That's a smart move right there. You know what? It's not going your way. Smart. Take sight under the ropes. Take a second. Just like a quarterback. You know what? If he doesn't like the way it looks, he just runs out of bounds. Waits till the next play. He regroups. That's exactly what Ayani's doing. Fair enough. Sometimes you got to regroup. What Michelle right now needs, though, is to kind of keep eyes in the back of her head. Because there is Callisto on the opposite side of the ring. Just... Pacing back and forth like a hungry shark. And uh -oh. oh, wait a second. Wait, wait. Cool. Cool. Just, there she is. Just already up. something. Already up on the ring apron. Oh, she's yeah, she's just she's just uh, you know Come on, Rick, cheering her on off her, of her partner. Get her she's off cheering her, on her partner. Oh, oh you oh. and I. Oh. That's all it took. Look at look at Michelle. <laughs> oh, poor Michelle. My goodness. I can't, Again, this I can't admit, is, I like that. Of course you do. Again, sadist, sir. Sadist, I call you. I'm telling you. But as I was saying, yes, as I was saying, this is the danger that oh. Michelle Snyder faces. She's not fighting just Ayani. She is fighting Callisto as well. This is not a standard one-on-one -on -one match. We are seeing a handicap match. Well, all I can say is this. Michelle needs to keep her eye on her opponent. She needs to not worry about Callisto. Let fate do whatever it has to do. Concentrate on your opponent. She's not fighting Callisto. She's fighting Ayana, and that's why she's sucking wind right now. And, oh, she better watch out. Uh, Ayani turning around to talk to her friend Callisto. Might have just turned around to walk right into something dangerous from Michelle. And, uh -oh. Indeed. Walked right into a boot to the gut. Ow! Oh! <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Slam. Wow, that's power right there. Did you see that? My it goodness. is indeed power. But then again, when it's only 115 pounds that you've got to lift up and slam to the mat, it's not too hard when a lady's motivated. Here's a pin. Smart idea. Again, even if you don't get the three count, you're forcing your opponent to exude energy to get your shoulder up. Well, let's face it, Michelle's a 190 pounds of corn-fed Indiana woman right there. And she's all over. Pounds. What? 140 pounds. Oh, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> she missed. Oh, my goodness. Check the ring. <laughs> Is the ring okay? <laughs> Somebody check the ring. I'm worried. That they, you know, they did, our crew did a lot of work putting up that ring today. Dickishness, sir. Dickishness. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bad guy. Yes. I think we do that. And but the oh! first step is in realizing it. Ow! <laughs> Good lord. Ooh. Oh! Driving that oh! knee and elbow right into her head and then following up with a knee right to the mush. Yeah, that Come was not on. so kawaii. Get up, Michelle. Show us what you got. Show us that you you've know, got the heart and the fortitude to surpass this. Come on. Well, it's definitely going to be a, a heavy burden for Michelle to fight through. Not just 
the ring ability of her opponent, but also having to keep track of her ring, her opponent's ring partner. Look at this. One and two. Oh, she almost got the win right there. And you know what, DZ? There was no help for Callisto right there. Uh, Iani is just totally taking it to the chubby one. And I'm going to say this right now. You're seeing Except that the for the difference... distracting of the referee, allowing... Oh. Ayani to choke Michelle on the ropes. Other than that, right? You're, you're talking about old stuff, bro. That happened like a year ago. I don't know why you're still on that now. I mean, the Dergs ain't see those glasses of yours. I want to see if they are actually as no, 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 as Derg I think they are. Hey, hey, pal, <laughs> let me explain something to you. These glasses cost more than your car. You need to have a license to wear these glasses. And only a man as sexy as Sammy Luciano wears these glasses. So hands off, pal. Oh Lord! I am I am that too, pigeon. Derek Zane is going to again grant you the same amount of time as he allowed the superior to think about what it is you just damn said. Well, I'll tell you this right now: Michelle is finally gotten out, getting on the other side of this. Look at her right now; she's doing exactly what she needs to. She needs to wear Ioni down. Forget Callisto. Forget about all the other variables. Your your job right now is to take down your opponent. Well, I agree. The problem is she's focusing on the wrong part of Ayani. Ayani's not a big woman. She doesn't generate power through her arms. It's her legs. You need to go after her knee. You need to go after her hip. You have to keep her off of her game. And right now, and Michelle is oh. not fighting the game that she needs. Now, that helps. <laughs> That's unfair but you have right to there. focus on taking out her ability to move. She is faster than Michelle. She is more agile. The way you defeat that is you take away her tools. Well, she just took away everything else with that. Oh, look at this. Now she's stomping her. Good. I'm starting to like Michelle Good. right now. Michelle's Go showing me knee. something here. Show me a, a, a little bit of viciousness, and this is what I like. This is what separates the champions from the chumps, is having that little streak of viciousness, viciousness in you. Go, Michelle. Show me what you got. Show me something. Well, smartly pulls her out of the ropes so that uh, oh. Ayani can't escape. Boy, big, that was like a big log falling on to the you. Back. But again, she's focusing on the wrong parts of the body. She needs oh, to it? attack the legs. What the hell is? What the hell is this? I don't know. It looks like uh, Michelle. Well, for come on, Michelle, like... stay on her. And what the? Oh, Kalisto was going up to the to the ring apron. Oh ho ho! ho! Big, big boot to the side of the head. Uh, again, what is Callisto trying to get involved in this match? I don't know. I guess she's trying to distract the Michelle. Michelle, do not pay attention to Callisto. Stay focused on your opponent. That is why the referee is here. The referee will handle that. No, you're making a mistake. Oh, uh -oh. God. oh, you and know. This is oh, going to no. cost Michelle. You mark my words, this will cost Michelle. This is just, some people are just cannot, not too bright. You cannot take your eyes off your opponent. Behind you, Michelle, behind you. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know what? That's exactly what she deserved. She had her. I really her. wish she I could argue top of that, her. but I can't. Of course he can't. I said it. I'm always right. She got exactly what was coming to her. She had Ayani. She had her down, and she let the variables get in the way of that. Wait a minute. You're always right. I'm always right. Always. always. In everything. Even when I'm wrong, I'm right. In everything that has ever been stated to me by you, you are right. Look at me. Look at me. I am pure perfection, pal. I look in the mirror, and sometimes I can't handle how, how I'm always right. I look at myself every day, and I say to myself, you know something, you're so good looking, and guess what? I'm right. Oh, 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 oh no. look at that. Oh, my goodness. You know that. Oh. Oh, well, while Michelle stares at the ring lights, I'm going to read something to you here, something I've hung on to for a while. Oh, boy. What the hell is this? Dear Derek, invest heavily... In DeLorean. One, two, three. Signed, no, no. Sam Luciano. That, sir, was not correct. And thankfully, I did not invest heavily in DeLorean. Well, Back to the Future was such a huge movie. How did we know? Anyway, 
back to the action. It was Callisto. a piece of crap car made of stainless steel in Ireland. The last good thing they built in Ireland was the Titanic, and that sank. <laughs> wow. That's what... You, where, where were you before I was investing in DeLorean, pal? Anyway, Ayana, she's right on top. Oh, Look at this. Oh, <laughs> you know what? That, this is a big woman that Ayana big, that Ayana is throwing right around. Knee and then flip. Well, a big knee to the face and a flip right out of the corner. This match is purely in the in the hands of the Black Lotus. And what does this all come down to? What started all it this? It comes down it to was you need oh. to have somebody watching your back. Michelle took her eye off the ball, and now she's paying for it. I love it. Go ahead, Ayani. Take her out. Finish her. It just it, it oh. hurts the heart to see oh. combat. Oh. No, she moved. Look at Michelle. I'll tell you what. She's Michelle got guts, this one. Plain. Michelle was playing possum, and it worked out. Now, Michelle, stop worrying about Kalisto. Focus on your opponent. Stay on Ayani. Look at her. She whips her into the ropes. What is this? Oh, my. Oh, oh my goodness. Good night. Ayani tried to get clever and jumped right into that huge lariat. Just spun her in the air. You know, what is, what is the ref doing? The ref needs to be paying attention to this right now. Stay on your opponent. Stay on her. Ignore Michelle. 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 Michelle, this match is yours to win or lose. Stay on Ayani. Show us something, Michelle. Show it now. Big, big stomp to the gut. Pulling her up to her feet. Go for something big and take this Whoa. match home. There is the strength of Michelle. Wait a second, oh. wait a second. Hold up. And again, Callisto's climbing into the ring. Stay on the in the ring or get the hell out. Make up she's your mind. She's just supporting baby. her partner. That's all she's doing. Is supporting her partner. She's trying to uh -oh. sway the outcome. Uh -oh. You damn well know it. These uh -oh. two are as dirty as dirty can be. They talk uh -oh. about honor. They bow and all. It's insincere and it's a load of crap. You know your one sidedness makes me makes me sick, DZ. Boy, is it ever pay human catch? What do you mean by that? What the? No, 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 uh -oh. no, no, Michelle. No, no. This is this is foolish. Stop. Uh -oh. Focusing on Callisto. Come on, Michelle. Focus at the match in hand. What are you doing? What is this? Throwing. Oh! Oh! You know what? That's just dirty. Callisto has nothing to do with this match, Michelle. That was just dirty pool right there. If she has nothing to do with the match, she should stay the hell in the back. Well, she, she wasn't in the ring. You know, that's what I'm saying. Michelle's got no class. I'm just going to say it right here. Three times now, Callisto has involved herself in a match that she had nothing to do with. It looks to me like that was just rewards. Just rewards. God, your one-sidedness. It just can't be stopped, can it? <laughs> Thank you. My goodness. Thank you for admitting that Derek Zane is unstoppable. Unstoppably you are unstoppable. sexy. Now, back to the action going on right now outside the ring. Michelle nope. dragging Ayani with her, but really she needs to get the match back into the squared circle, and she needs to stay on top of Ayani. Go on, Michelle. This is your chance right now. This is exactly what you wanted. You got all the momentum. <laughs> oh, oh, what? The, yeah, see, Michelle sneezed. What the hell? Did Michelle sneezed. You and all. She sneezed. You know exactly what happened. That was a thumb in the oh. eye. Oh my God! Destroyed by your allergies. That's not good. Poor, poor Michelle. It's just not her night. It's just not her night. You know, you're on it top. Not you her got night. the momentum. It has nothing to do with her. And it has everything and to do with the Black Lotus. The match. Black Lotus. She sneezed. There's a, what can you do? She sneezed, and Ayani took advantage of it. There was nothing, nothing, nothing either one of them can do. There really isn't no bad person here. You damn well know that that was a thumb in the eye. Not a sneeze. Thumb in the eye. My God, now you're making stuff up. Come on, Michelle. Right, see if man. you have enough strength to pull yourself back into the ring. I know that's costing a lot. This, well, this is dangerous because right behind her is Callisto just eyeing the ref, waiting for the ref to not be looking because you know she's planning something. Derek, I hate oh, to say, you're making this match about Callisto. Callisto has nothing to do with it. Oh! She's had everything to do with it. 
Look suicide at that. dive and delivered beautifully to the to the outside. Down goes Michelle. Down goes Ayani. And right now, both ladies are just feeling this match. Boy, I'll tell you something. How can you not love Saturday nights with WPWF? The action is just insane. No other Fed brings it to you like WPWF does. I'm I'm in shock. These women are just crazy. I love it. How how can I not? How can you? Two know? words. <laughs> Sam Luciano. Hey. Let me tell you something, pal. You need to count your lucky stars that you're sitting next to a man who is the Sultan of Swagger, the Baron of Bravado, no other than Sammy Luciano, pal. Recognize. You just really said Sultan of Swagger? Like, really? I'm, yes, he did. I just said the Sultan of Swagger, pigeon. The douche. I mean, I know um, my name is ridiculous, but Jesus Christ, man. Wow. All the these douche, guys are hating. You guys are hating. Now Michelle, right back on her, throwing her into the corner. Uh, I gotta wonder, oh, is she gonna oh, hit? Oh! oh, oh, oh. Ran right into that That's not gonna do much damage to Michelle. <laughs> Come on, Michelle, there pretend she's a double cheeseburger. Rope. High risk, high reward. Oh! Oh, oh no! Oh, oh. oh! Oh, Lord. I gotta give it up. That was impressive. Good Lord. Ayani just jumped right into the white knuckle skull cave. I, you know what that move's called, right? I it's mean, I guess it's going to be something insultingly about food. Oh, no, it's just called the tenderizer. Wait, wait, hold and up. And again, hold up. and again, here comes, here comes our old favorite with the Singapore cane. What are you talking about? Hey, hey we'll Michelle, Michelle right after. on the ring apron. Leave Callisto alone. Your your fight is right. Oh, come on, Michelle. Uh -oh. This is uh -oh. This isn't right. This isn't right. I think the fans are about to get what they want. Again, Callisto's playing a part in this match, drawing the attention of her opponent, you know, Michelle away from her opponent. No, nope, uh, Michelle! It's... And where's oh, the scoop? Oh, damn it. Wait, I think oh, that's what you're kidding me. Really? Once again, Michelle is her own worst enemy. My goodness. Wow. Wow. Well, you know, Derek Zane, she's got no one to blame but herself. She had every opportunity to finish her opponent, but she let outside sources affect her. Outside sources, you're talking about Kalisto, am I right? No, he's talking about the fairy, Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny. Of course, Callisto. Who else did you say out there? I don't know. You guys seem to be seeing a lot of stuff that's not happening. Look at her. Someone just told her that they ordered pizza backstage. <laughs> same, I'd say save a piece for me, but who am I kidding? <laughs> you know, there will come a day when you are going to get the crap smacked out of you, and it will be a fine, fine day. But in the meantime, your winner by way of pinfall Chai Shihana. Well, with that, Private Pigeon, why don't you do your thing and pay some bills for the WPWF? Oh, okay. It looks like three times the charm. So, ladies and gentlemen, like to share your opinions or do you have suggestions about the match or just the whole show? Here at WPWF, we listen to the fans and their opinions to bring the best now talent and show. To follow your suggestion option, click the box next to the donation leader right behind us. Hey, you. That's right, it's that time again for the one and only Derek Zane to ask you that question. Have you always wanted that super awesome original entrance video? Well, of yes. course you have. Want yep. no more. Check oh. it. Shush. Oh. Shush. Derek Zane's oh. talking. Okay. Check out Heartbreaker Promotion. Productions. Sorry. <clears throat> Late in the day, voice is getting weak. <laughs> At <laughs> youtube.com backslash HP Sierra. Featuring motion graphics, high definition quality, and many options for customization. Heartbreaker Productions can help create the impression that you want for your character. And what's the best part of it? What? That's right. All at reasonable prices. See oh. that sign. 
Click that sign. Click it many times. Click it so many times you see it in your head as you sleep. You're still clicking it. Or note card Sierra Charisma for more information. <gasps> that is right. As Future Base Wrestling Gear is a new vendor located at your nearest goods area for animations and boots. Future Base offers high quality tights, high quality mesh elbow pads and knee pads, and most importantly, high quality mesh and fitted mesh trunks varying in many different sizes and designs. It is right there at the front of the WPWF by the entrance. Wow. Do well. you want to get updates about future shows or get updates about the shows you've missed? What? What do you? What? What? What is this? What? Oh. What? what we're paying bills here. What the? What the hell is this? Somebody apparently Shh. wants to uh, interject. What? Uh, oh, you know who this is. Uh oh. What? What's this again? I don't know who this spooky, is. Spooky, spooky, music, uh, oh. spooky, spooky music. Spooky, spooky music. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Spooky, spooky. Okay, stop it. You're scaring me. You scare the hell out of me. Prepare to take your. Po what? What? Oh my god. You've been seeing these videos for weeks, and now it seems to have all come to a culmination to this. They're. Just get here already. I, damn it. I need to know what the hell this is. Oh no. Who can, who can this be? Uh, somebody who likes spooky music. Well, they're spooking the hell out of this guy. Well, that's wow. because you're kind of a pussy. You know what? Let me a explain pussy something cat. to you, pal. Well, let me explain something, my friend. Sam Luciano is no one's pussy. Wow. All, all I can say is this is just insane. This is crazy insane. Well, so far tonight, we have seen that the Black Lotus has been just absolutely involved in everything. They, they've taken over the Come. show. I think it's safe to say. Oh, yeah. Undoubtedly. Just deliberately cheating left and right and causing first a, a loss you know, in the match with Allison Dane, but picking up a what I would say is a controversial victory against... Michelle Snyder. We've also seen Allison just beating tonight first from her friend and now from the Black Lotus. It's anybody's guess just exactly where this is all going to end. Well, all I can say is this. Tonight, if there's one word that describes tonight, what is it, Derek Zane? It's power, especially if we're That's talking right. about Nicoletta and Misty at the very beginning of the match of tonight. This has been one hell of a show, and definitely the ladies are earning their pay. Well, I'll tell you what, you said it best. Power is the word. We even saw it last match with Michelle Snyder, the way she just hoisted Ayani over her head. These women are playing for keeps, and all I can say is you're more than getting your money's worth tonight. WPWF is sending a message right here tonight, and I'm going to say this as well. The Black Lotus is sending a message tonight. They want everybody backstage to know, including the champion, that they are, in fact, the new aristocracy in WPWF. I wouldn't go that far. To be crowned a king or a queen, you have to have the gold. They haven't done that yet. They are definitely en route to getting there, but until they carry straps, we cannot anoint them royalty just yet. I don't think they care about straps, Derek Zane. I don't think that even that's even on their mind. I think they're here for one reason, and that's to intimidate. That's to let everybody know that they are in control, and that's exactly what they're doing. I definitely have to agree there. They are definitely making an impact. They may, I'll tell you what, they're scaring the hell out of me. I don't want to mess with these girls. Me either. Well, of course, you wouldn't want to, Rainbow Bright. You wouldn't be able to see him. You'd bring up your arms and you'd blind yourself from all that neon. I Hells you. yeah! <laughs> That's not something to be proud of. Oh. That's right. Your hair does look kind of, kind of weird, Rainbow. You're supposed to be professional. Next time, wear a coat. Oh. You're wearing well. t-shirts and you got rainbow hair. 
What about you is exactly professional? It's, well, all I can say, style. if you want to talk about professional, I say we start off with the main event. What do you think? Who's ready for the main event? Wait, wait, wait. It's not about what I think. It's not about what Rainbow Bright there thinks. It's not even about what Sleazy Sam Luciano thinks. It's about what wait, you sleazy. think. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, boy. Then let it begin. On her way to the ring. Oh, indeed. On her way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan. Five foot seven, 135 pounds. She is your WPWF Women's Champion, Rei Kurihara. Well, I'll tell you one thing. You know what? Earlier tonight, I was backstage, and I saw the champion. I had a moment to speak with her. I introduced myself. I said, Ri, Ri Kurehara, it's an honor to be near you, champ. I am Sam Luciano. You know what she said to me? Mm. Nothing. She just gave me a pair of chopsticks. I don't know what the hell to do with these things. What the hell's up with that? It's cultural. You hold them in your hand and then you use them very carefully to eat as opposed to your Italian method which is just shovel food into your mouth haphazardly let me explain something to you pal now you're crossing the line you want to mess with my Italian people you're about to you're, you're, you're in uncharted did waters Zane, did Derek Zane cross the line? you're about oh, to boy. cross I'm about to cross my fist over my, my lap Derek and knock you right beside the head his hand across the side of your mouth oh you're asking oh. for it pal you're asking oh. for it you know what? But no, I'm going to refrain from kicking the crap for. out of you right here. You're pushing it, pal. Hey, we're supposed to be professional here, right? Shut you up, use fighting. Shut up. I'll tell you what Derek Zane's asking for. Derek Zane is asking for the opponent. That's oh. right. To face the champion, we have one hell of a better. From Tampa, Florida. Five foot six, 137 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. She is the bleeding heart, Christina Chance. Wow, she's a newcomer, too. And I'm going to tell you something. She's been impressive her first couple of matches. But let me explain something. What? what the hell? What is this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. What? That is not Christina Chance's music. <laughs> no, this, no, this is not. Whoa, that... We were talking about them wanting to send a message. It looks like they're going straight for the top. Oh, boy. It looks like V is more than wow. ready for this. Well, you know what? They spray painted on Ree's picture earlier this weekend. Now they're going to come out to spray paint on her. All I can say is I'm shocked. It, I, don't, I don't know what to say. They have completely taken over the WPWF tonight. Well, undoubtedly, they are looking to send a message, and it's a message that is dual-purposed. One is to tell everybody in the back just who the new pecking order is. But second, they are definitely coming for the champion. They may see as a, I hate to use the term, but it's the only one that can really be applied in this case, as a sort of Uncle Tom. They may be well, looking at the champion as being not of a proper representation of their home country. I agree. And you know what? Let me tell you something. The champ is ready. She's been attacked. She has been hammered every time she turns around by these people. Now they're facing her one-on-one, -on -one, and the champ is ready. So all I can say is that the Black Lotus is choosing right now to attack her. They better be holding four aces. Undoubtedly, there is some suspicion that it was the Black Lotus that attacked Ray backstage last week. Oh, oh here they go. No one no one has any proof. No you feel the tension right now? Video tonight. Oh, yeah. Do you feel it? It kind of makes you want to, oh, here they go. Cut it with Luciano's chest hair. The ladies love the chest hair. Look at this. The both what? of them, they're both sitting there. They're staring down the champion. Now they're playing mind games. Are, do you think they're going to take this moment to attack, or are they just playing head games? I don't know. 
It's hard to say. Wait, what's this? What oh, you? what the hell? The Heartbreaker herself, Sierra Wait. Charisma. She is there. She. It looks as if she's got Reese oh. back. Well, the odds have just been even. Nowhere. This is a definite change of uh, change of events for the Black Lotus. I think they were expecting to just come in and have their way with the champion. However, they still got the Singapore Canes. Well, I'll tell you what. Tactically, that's you want to you want to fight. You want to fight. The Saria Charisma will take the fight to you. This woman has been around for a while, and she has a reputation as someone that likes to fight. She has the style that's perfect for this kind of match. Re couldn't have asked for a better partner, and right now I think the Black Lotus is second-guessing themselves. I don't think they want a piece of this. Uh, All right. Look at that. Another day. Right now wow. Oh, yep, Woo! backing off. Yeah, smart move. Smart move. Gather yourself. That's exactly what they should be doing. Yeah, this you is know, I'll tell smart. you something. As, as much as I respect the... Sierra Charisma, as much as I respect her, this really wasn't her fight. And there goes the Black Lotus. It looks like they are not going to press the issue tonight. I don't blame them. The question is now, are we going to have a match? Well, you know what? I, I see two people in the ring right now. Uh-oh. What? I, I just got word. The yeah, challenger, Christina Chance, has been found backstage beaten up. Therefore, the main event won't happen. Well, whether it's the Black Lotus or not, I don't know. All I can say is that we we may have a rivalry here. Has there been... It has there been look? It looks like they're shaking hands right now. Has there been an accord made between the Heartbreaker and the champion Rikurahara? It would appear so, at least for the time being. Safety in numbers, and right now, with the Black Lotus running rampant in the backstage, we're going to start seeing some alliances we might not have ever expected to see before. Well, I'll tell you something. You just said it. Strength in numbers. But like I said, all we can say is this. What happens next with the Black Lotus? What is the next step? Because tonight, they have taken over Asylum. They made it all about them. And now, they were going to finish it off. They were going to Put the it put the cherry on top of the ice cream by taking out the champion and Sierra Charisma comes and throws a monkey wrench into the situation. What's next with the Black Lotus? Only the Lotus really knows to say for certain. What we can do is speculate, and I'm speculating myself that we are going to see them get it on. So I just all and I can not tell that you, way fans, you dirty monkeys, is tune in next week. Be here next week to see what happens next because I for one I can't wait to see what happens but this has been another episode of Asylum I am Sam Luciano you are the only name you need to know Derek Zane and that's Colonel Sanders sitting on the other side we thank you we love you tip your weight staff and try the veal it's Good night Captain now. Falcon <laughs> I get no respect, no matter what. This video was filmed on location by Zarakan Productions. Zarakan Productions is an umbrella group for many YouTube shows and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to zarakan.com for a complete listing of shows and businesses associated with Zarakan Productions and their own media links. Zarakan Productions shows have been organized alphabetically in playlists in a year, month, 
day format for easier video navigation. Multiple part videos have been named accordingly starting with part 1, and the last video of a multiple part video series will have end as a part of its title. Please like, comment, and share this video as it helps both Zarakan Productions and the creators of this video's content. Also, be sure to check the playlists for past episodes of show content, and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you for watching, and happy wandering.